Hi and welcome to a video as a member of the creative crew for Canvas Core Brands. Lately I had fun with altering empty bottles with paint and shimmer sprays from Tattooed Angels and the Seven Gypsies Architecture Parchment rub -ons. I made five bottles in different shapes and sizes and show you on two of them how you can make your own cool altered bottles. You can do them in any color variation you like and thus, so to speak, play nice with your interior. I started first with some gesso, which I dabbed with a sponge on randomly, covering the bottle as much or as little as you want. I then dried them with a heat gun before I went on with the next step. I applied the really nice light blue from the high impact paint. As you can see, I'm still not covering up every spot. I have listed all the products down below in the description box. I did speed up this video twice, but you can choose your own speed on the desktop computer down below the video on the right or on the tablet at the top in the right corner of the video. If you don't like messy fingers, I suggest you wear gloves. As you can see here, I did have too much fun spraying different colors onto the bottles to care about gloves. So now the bottles have their share of color. And yes, there is a lot of overspray in the box. But no worries, I gonna use that up in the next step with all the cheesecloth, ribbons and flowers. I tend to buy my embellishment in white and then use the sprays. This way I'm sure that they match perfectly. As you can see here, I'm starting to move around everything with a pair of pliers in those puddles, so they can pick up the color. Now it is time for the Seven Gypsies Architecture Parchment Rub-Ons. Remember, we did apply gesso and the paint quite randomly. That means we have a rather uneven surface. Not so fun with rub-ons, but there is a solution. I apply the rub-ons onto tissue paper and then add the tissue paper with some Mod Podge to the bottles. So here you can see me cut out those motifs I want for these bottles. Tissue paper comes with two sides. One is shiny and the other rather dull. I recommend to put on the rub-ons onto the dull side, as it has more tooth. I use one of those wooden popsicle sticks and rub along the pattern. From time to time I check if everything has transferred. The next step is to separate the images. 
Personally, I prefer the torn edges. In my opinion, they blend more into the background. I tend to make a bunch of embellishment and then decide on the go which work well. Yes, that means you are probably left with some random pieces, but I think it is easier than just do one embellishment that is missing for the final touch. As you have seen, I did use my fingers to apply the Mod Podge mat. I have just a bit more control and don't tear the tissue paper and I can feel any wrinkles and smooth them out. I also apply a coat on top of the tissue paper. Don't be stingy here. If the surface is too dry, there is again the risk of tearing the paper. The popsicle stick here is also good to hold the bottle from rolling away. Again, I did dry everything with the heat gun, but you can also let it dry naturally. So with the Canvas Corp brand products, you can even use their packaging. How cool is that? The rubbons come with these pretty images. Really fun to make some tags for hanging on to some of the bottles. Now it is time for the embellishments. I usually use a combination of tacky glue and hot glue. 